This is a demonstration on Newton's third law. Uh, I have two momentum carts. I'm going to add extra mass to this cart. It turns out that each one of these masses basically equals the cart. So this we can call 4m, and this one we can call m. Both of them have these plungers, which can go in and out. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off, and I'm going to have the heavy one, the one with four, the 4m, uh, shoot out the plunger. Turn this around. This would be the equivalent of a bow shooting an arrow. The bow is heavy, the arrow is light. I hit the plunger and watch and we'll get to this side. Watch what happens. So notice the light one went very, very quickly and the heavy one went slowly. So now we're going to turn this around and let's pretend that we have the bow push or sorry, the arrow pushing on the bow. This would be like the bullet pushing on the gun. What you should have seen is exactly the same thing. In this case, it doesn't, and what we're trying to show you here is it doesn't matter who's pushing. It doesn't matter if it's the heavy object or the light object. Here's where people get stuck and why they always seem to choose that the bow uh, has a greater force on the arrow than the arrow on the bow. I'm going to turn the heavy one over now so that it now has significant friction. Actually, we're going to let it shoot out. And now we're going to have the heavy object push on the light object, but the heavy object is not free to move. Uh, oh, actually, that's dumb. I actually have to. I have to have the light object push because I don't have a choice there. Okay, here we go. Now notice. This is exactly what we thought before, but in this case, it didn't move much. If I take an object and I throw it, I feel a force on me. Anyone that's ever hit a, a, a tennis racket or hit a baseball, you can feel the ball hitting you back, or you can feel the force through the bat. But we have friction on the floor, so we don't move much. One, we're much heavier or much more massive, so even if we were capable of moving, we wouldn't have much of an acceleration, and the lighter object would. But we have friction, so we can't move. That doesn't mean the forces are not still equal.